The All Blacks have done it again, showcasing their dominance on the rugby field. They face Japan in Yokohama, a city known for its passionate rugby fans and vibrant atmosphere. It was a tough match, filled with intense moments and fierce competition, but the men in black emerged victorious. The final score was 64 to 19, a testament to the All Blacks' superior strategy and execution. This win further cements why New Zealand is considered a rugby powerhouse, with a legacy of excellence and a commitment to the sport. The match was filled with exciting moments, from high-speed tackles to breathtaking runs with the ball. Japan put up a fight, showing their resilience and determination on the field. They even led early on, giving their fans hope and showcasing their potential. But the All Blacks showed their class, breaking through the defence with precision and skill. They fought back with power and determination, turning the tide in their favour. It was a true display of skill and athleticism, with players performing incredible manoeuvres and showcasing their talents. This game was important for the All Blacks, not just for the win, but as a measure of their progress and preparation. It was a chance to test themselves against a formidable opponent and refine their strategies. They are preparing for their upcoming European tour, where they will face some of the toughest teams in the world. And what a test it was. Japan played with heart, giving their all and making their country proud. But they couldn't match the All Blacks' experience and firepower, which ultimately led to their decisive victory. The fans were ecstatic, celebrating another memorable win and looking forward to the challenges ahead. The connection between the team and their supporters was evident as they shared in the joy of this dominant display in Yokohama. The Japanese team came out strong, showing their determination and skill right from the kickoff. They were well prepared and had a clear strategy in mind. They were playing at home in front of their passionate fans, which gave them an extra boost of confidence and energy. The crowd was behind them and they were eager to impress. The atmosphere in the stadium was electric, with fans waving flags and chanting in unison. For a moment it seemed like they might upset the All Blacks. The Japanese players were executing their plays flawlessly, and their defence was rock solid. Joan Naikabula scored a fantastic try for Japan, showcasing his speed and agility. It was a well-coordinated effort by the entire team. It was a moment of brilliance, a highlight that would be remembered by fans for years to come. The crowd erupted in cheers, their excitement reaching a fever pitch. The stadium was filled with the sound of jubilation. Japan had taken the lead. Could they hold on? The tension was palpable as everyone wondered if they could maintain their advantage. The All Blacks were caught off guard, but they didn't panic. They are known for their composure under pressure. They regrouped and they came back with a vengeance. Their experience and tactical acumen were on full display. This is what makes them champions. Their ability to adapt and overcome challenges is unparalleled. They know how to respond to adversity. The All Blacks' resilience and determination were evident as they fought back to reclaim their dominance on the field. Mark Talea was the first to answer for the All Blacks. He scored a try, levelling the score. This was a turning point in the match. It seemed to ignite the All Blacks' fire. From that moment on, the All Blacks were relentless. They played with speed, power and precision. Their attack was unstoppable. Their defence was unbreakable. The All Blacks began to dominate possession. Their forwards were unstoppable. They won scrum after scrum. Their line-outs were clean. They controlled the pace of the game. The All Blacks scored try after try. Billy Proctor found his way to the try line. Then Sam Kane added another. Sami Penny Finau joined the scoring spree. The All Blacks were running riot. Damien McKenzie was on fire with his conversions. He was kicking with pinpoint accuracy. The points kept coming for the All Blacks. Japan struggled to keep up. The All Blacks were playing at a different level. Their experience and skill were on full display. They were simply too strong. Section 5 points pile up. The All Blacks continue to dominate. Pasilio Tosi scored a try, showing his pace and power. Tamaiti Williams added his name to the score sheet. The All Blacks were running away with the game. Despite the scoreline, Japan never gave up. They kept fighting for every ball. They showed great spirit. But the All Blacks were too good. The first half ended with the All Blacks in complete control. They had built a commanding lead. Japan had a lot of work to do in the second half. Section 6, second half surge. The second half began much like the first. The All Blacks continued to attack. 
Cam Roygaard scored a try early on, extending their lead even further. Japan refused to give in. They kept playing with heart. Opeti Helu scored a try for Japan. It was a moment of brilliance. The crowd roared their approval, but the All Blacks were unstoppable. They were like a machine. They kept playing their game. They were determined to finish strong. Section 7. Love seals the deal. In the final minutes, Ruben Love took centre stage. He scored two tries in quick succession. It was a fitting end to a dominant performance by the All Blacks. Love's tries showcased his skill and athleticism. He was a constant threat throughout the match. His performance was a highlight for the All Blacks. The final whistle blew. The All Blacks had won a convincing victory. They had shown why they are one of the best teams in the world. Section 8 Onwards to Europe. After the match, the All Blacks were praised for their performance. Their fans were ecstatic and the team felt the love and support from all corners. It was a moment of triumph and joy. They had shown their class, but they knew there was still work to do. The team gathered for a huddle, discussing their strategies and areas for improvement. They were determined to keep pushing forward. The All Blacks are now looking ahead to their European tour. They will face tough competition. The journey to Europe is not just a physical one, but also a mental challenge. The team is preparing meticulously, knowing that every match will test their skills and resolve. They will need to be at their best, but they will be ready for the challenge. Intense training sessions are underway, with the players pushing their limits. Every drill, every practice session is crucial in honing their abilities. This win against Japan was a good start. It shows that the All Blacks are in good form. The victory was a testament to their hard work and dedication. It boosted their confidence and set a positive tone for the upcoming matches. They are ready to take on the world. The All Blacks are back. With renewed energy and focus, the team is gearing up to face the best in Europe. Their journey is just beginning and they are determined to make their mark.